So on behalf of the RCM MRD Governing Council, staff and my own behalf, a warm welcome once again to RCM MRD, which is your home. And as many now refer it to it as the home of GIS and remote sensing on the continent, always feel free whenever you are within the precincts of this uh, organization. Indeed, calling RCM MRD a continental geo home is in accord with the vision of its founders who almost 50 years ago envisioned a center that would champion the application of geospatial information and technologies in not only addressing pressing national issues, but also spur development across the continent. So we hope we are living to that ideal and the presence of our governing council members here is testimony to that. It is in line with that vision that the center, together uh, with our esteemed partners, many of whom are here today, that the center has continued to provide services, tools, data, and information derived from Earth observations and allied IC technologies to support decision making in various areas uh, such as uh, agriculture and food security, weather and climate, water resources management, disaster management, land use and ecosystems, land information management, to mention just but a few. This we do through project implementation, and as I said, many of the partners we have here through their presentations and the exhibition that we have, you'll be able to learn some of the important transformative projects that we're implementing across uh, the African continent. We do capacity building uh, both to people already in their jobs, but as you have realized, we also have a growing institute at the center here that is offering cutting edge uh, training in our fields of surveying, cartography, photogrammetry, GIS, etc. The RCTI that has been growing over the past few years and now has a population of over 800 students undertaking different diploma and certificate courses. Uh, besides project implementation and capacity building, we also do work with you to undertake critical research uh, initiatives to answer some of the pressing problems on our continent and in our countries. 